Miller's not here yet? He's already left for the main hangars with MacReady's team. We're supposed to rendezvous with them there. You ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Unbelievable. You told him it's a credible threat. I understand that. There are hundreds of lives at risk. I hope you're wrong about this, Jensen. So do I. Fine. Fine. Have your men pull back until I can talk to him myself. Miller out. Changing plans. Mac, you and your team will rendezvous with our London division. Secure the perimeter until I tell you to come back in. Jensen, you and I are on the roof. Is there a problem? Map it up, gentlemen. Approaching the target building now. Get your coat. You're gonna need it. I don't have to tell you what's happening. You know the drill. There are people down there. Radical, augmented people who've been sidelined by this world and who think the only way to stop the oppression is by tearing down everything in their way. Their grievances may be just, maybe they should be heard, but never on these terms. The world may be going to shit, but we're here to stand against the chaos. Every one of the guests down there are counting on us to keep them safe. Let's make sure we do. Director Miller, I'm Nathaniel Brown. Thank you for agreeing to handle this discreetly. We didn't exactly have a choice. You threatened to invoke the Corporate Sovereignty Act. I gave your London division a full day to sweep for explosives. They found nothing. It's not just bombs we're concerned with. I've also replaced all the food and beverage, brought in extra guards from Tarvis Security Services, and ordered the men to work with your team when it arrives. Trust me, I'm taking this threat very seriously. Then why not cancel the event? This isn't the first time extremists have threatened to tear down the Safe Harbor Initiative. Pro-Og supporters think we're profiting from their misery, promoting more failures like Gollum City. While anti-Og racists can't stand the thought of any augmented person living in peace, canceling this event will only embolden all of them. You can't be that foolish. You think by going ahead with your party you're gonna teach these terrorists a lesson? This initiative is far too important to delay. I didn't become the man I am today by kowtowing to threats, sir. I understand the risk, as do my guests. Right. And I wonder how many of your guests would gladly go home if they knew they were putting their lives in danger by being here tonight. It's Agent Jensen, isn't it? David Seraph told me about you. You might not believe this, Agent, but I'm also trying to save lives tonight. The lives of your people. Several members of the UN Security Council are on my guest list tonight. I plan to convince them just how wrong the act really is. Talus Rucker couldn't stop it from passing. But I can. Where are you meeting them? 
In a secure conference room off the reception hall. Men from your London division have already cleared it. Doesn't matter. I want to see this room myself. And I want Agent Jensen here to coordinate with Tarvos security while the rest of my team re-examines the building. Discreetly, of course. The head of our Tarvis division is Liam Slick. He's waiting for your man to join him in the central security office. Go see him, Agent. And keep McCready and me in the loop. Mr. Brown, if you'll show me that conference room. Alex, I'm at the Apex Center. Brown's got members of the Security Council here tonight. Members sympathetic to Og rights. Janus? Were you eavesdropping on me? Right. Well, if I need your advice tonight, I'll ask. We'll see. I can assure you, sir, we're on top of everything. Marchenko's men are here. They've got the CSO. I'm taking fire.
Anomaly detected. Access granted. Miller, McCready, Marchenko's men are here. They've got the CSO. I'm taking fire. Moving from mid to low. 